Hi, brothers and sisters and friends. Okay, so I wanted to just come on here and share with you Psalm 65. Um, I was asking God to, you know, give me a word. And Psalm 65, Psalm 65, Psalm 65, it kept repeating to me. And so here it is. Praise awaits you, our God in Zion, to show our vows will be fulfilled. You who answer prayer, to you all people will come. When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house and your holy temple. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds. God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth and the farthest seas, who formed the mountains by your power, having armed yourself with strength, who stilled the roaring of the seas and the roaring of the waves and the turmoil of the nations. The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders. Where morning dawns, where evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. You care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with grain. For you have ordained it. You drench its furrows and level its ridges. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year with your bounty, and your carts overflow with abundance. The grasslands of the wilderness overflow. The hills are clothed with gladness. The meadows are covered with flocks, and the valleys are mantled with grain. They shout for joy and sing. So, <laughs> I don't know, but when I read that, I, it brought tears to my eyes. You know, that's like, can't wait, can't wait, I just can't wait. So, I love you all. Um, let me go ahead and tell you about um, a dream that I had. This was like two days ago. I had this dream, I was in a, um, at a mall and in this dream there was um a watch vendor stands and i they had uh stuff like laid out on the table and um i picked it up you know i thought it wasn't you know it wasn't stealing it wasn't anything valuable and so i i picked it up and i kept it and my mom was with me and she got a phone call and apparently uh, there's something in there and they wanted it returned immediately like this was immediately you need to come return it and um, so it was an envelope and my mom I gave it to her and she like it was like everything was in a rush she was going through it and she found a card she pulled out the card like what it looked like and this, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't really focused to being, I, I don't know, I wasn't able to see what, um, what was on the card. All I was able to see on the card was a switch, like a big switch, not like a little light switch, like a big switch, and it was turned on. It, the Lord showed me it was clear that it was on. It said on. It was in green and the handle was up. It was on. But the picture was blurred out. Really? Okay. Sorry. My computer is acting up. So anyway, the, 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 the picture was blurred out. I wasn't able to see what, what it was. Um... And then, so my mom grabbed the card, and she, uh, this was all in a hurry. 
she she gave she went back to the mall she gave the the card to the people and she like ran away and next thing I know I didn't hear a bomb go off but um, my mom and I were in some truck <laughs> I don't know where the truck came from but we ended up in a truck and I remember seeing thick black smoke and but I didn't hear a bomb but there there was thick black smoke and um and I remember seeing cars like ramming into each other and just like chaos chaos everywhere so yeah that's my dream um I was trying to find some scripture on it I'm really I, the Lord didn't lead me to any scripture about that um so just I don't know. Alright, I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.